Are you getting this error when you try to run N3 FJP's amateur contact log? Well, there's a fix for that and we're going to go through it. Now, to start with, I have to apologize to you all. In my original video, which I've put a link to up there in the corner and will include in the video description, I didn't mention this. But I received a comment this morning where someone called me out on it. And thank you for the comment. That's why I encourage comments. Call me out. If, if I made a mistake or I left something out, a lot of times I don't realize it. I'm working with several radios here. And by the way, this will work with every radio that will run WSJTX. So if you've successfully got WSJTX up and running, and that now you go over to N3FJP to in integrate it, this is the error you're going to get. Here's the fix. So we've got WSJTX up and running. So what we want to do is come up here to File and settings that's going to bring up our settings tab it doesn't matter what radio you're using if you're working that's all that's needed if your audio is working that's all that's needed we want to come over here to the reporting tab we'll open that and down here under udp server you should have this set as your first one with all these uh, this is the server port number 2237 and we're going to enable the secondary UDP server, which has a server port number of 2333. Remember these port numbers. Now, under Grid Tracker, we're going to open our settings, which is right here. We're going to be in the General tab. If you look right up here, it tells you WSJTX is up, and it's on port 2237. Right here, we want port 2237. And we also want to enable this one, which is that secondary port that we just turned on. And we're going to enable it here. If you're not using Grid Tracker, that's fine. We can go direct to the next set. Now we're going to go back to our N3FJP ACL. We're still getting this error. You start by just clicking OK to clear that. And then go to Settings. Ignore the rig interface. It doesn't matter what radio you're connecting. We're going to go straight to WSJTX. Come down here to the application program interface. And we're going to click on this box that says listen for WSJTX. Now you'll see that occasionally I'm blinking to message received. If that isn't happening, go to the configure button. Make sure that your port right up here is set to that same number, 2333. If you have it on anything else, let's, let's say you've got it on 2233 and click Done. You're going to see that we don't get that blinking, blinking message saying you're connected. So, Configure, 2333, click Done, and we're going to be talking to WSJTX directly. Click Done, your system's ready to run. So to recap, we want to make sure that our reporting tab has both of these enabled and that you remembered these two numbers, the UDP port number and the server port number. In the grid tracker settings, we want to make sure that both ports are set correctly and that the forward UDP messages are enabled. And finally, in the amateur contact log, we want to make sure that our settings application program interface and again it doesn't matter what rig interface you're using here we're bypassing the rig and we are going directly to the apis make sure that this is set clicked for listen for wsjtx now continuing the overview i happen to be using my yesu ftdx 101 mp for this however i could have used my FTDX10, my FT710, or my ICOM IC7300 for this. Now, as it so happens, there's another workaround that I'm not going to get too far into, but if you're using an ICOM radio, they have the CIV port out. So under N N3FJP, under the settings, under the rig interface, you can use whatever settings you have for your CIV port. If you don't have the CIV port, this process that I've just described works just as well.
So that's it for this time. Hopefully that resolved this issue. And uh, please remember to like, comment, share, and consider subscribing. 73 for now. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I am out.